going live. We are live officially on this beautiful Thursday, beautiful overcast. They're all beautiful days, right? All beautiful days, not looking forward. To, like I hate to say I'm not looking forward to all the rain that's coming because we need it. Um, but I gotta tell you, it is no fun when you have horses because that is a muddy, muddy, mucky, nasty mess. And it's really hard to clean pens too. But we do need the water, so we'll just deal with it. Um, you guys make sure you say hi and jump on. Boy, they're they're sure jumping on this morning. <laughs> oh, good morning, Denise. Thank you for joining me. Um Eddie Van Hoot wants to join you on video. No, Eddie, it's, it's just the Carolyn show. You don't get to be on too. Good morning, Cheryl. Um I see oh, good morning, Barbara. Um, so we start, we're just going to start like we always do and kind of give people a, a few more minutes to jump on. Um, what am I wearing today? Today, today I'm wearing my Sherry Bittner. Um, I love this. I love this so much. It is such a versatile piece. So light. I wear it. I find I wear it a whole, whole lot. Hi, Cheryl. Oh my gosh. Eddie. Sherry, hi, Carolyn. Boy, you guys are all jumping on. <laughs> this is a busy morning. Thank you for all the comments. Um, I gotta see if I can get rid of this. Eddie Van Hoot. There we go. Good morning, Mary Berry. Uh, from a very windy central Oregon. Sherry. Hi, Sherry. You know, I wore this. Good morning, Amanda. I think I missed you back there. Um, I wore this today because it is just one, it's got a little, it's got a little bit of magenta in it, and you'll find out why. That's important later. Um, but, uh, it's been such a, it's a reminder of all the amazing people that I have gotten a blast to meet, um, and the cool friends I have made. It has absolutely been a blast. Woo. All right. This is going to be a tough one today. Um, hey, Marietta. She's caffeinated. Good, good. Um, what am I wearing? So what am I working on? Right? I got to finish. I finished this headband. Um, it's brioche. Look at that. Finished a brioche project. <laughs> Might have finished it in 2023 instead of 2022, but I did it. And this is a royal icing headband. I used the um, El Array Eco Tweed. Good morning, Candace, which I love because of it, you know, just that tweedy, tweedy look. So anyway, that's what I made. I'm going to take it off now, though, because it's not that cold in here. Um, all right, so I have an announcement to make. I wrote it all down. There are, there are many thoughts, and I have a tendency to jump around like a fart in a skillet, and can be hard to follow, and sometimes my message gets very confusing. <laughs> so I'm going to read it off of this, um, because that's just the way we're going to have to do it today. I've been putting a lot of thought into what 2023 looks like for me. When I start this process, I look up what the Pantone color of the year is, gather a lot of inspiration for my intention for the year um, based on what they say, a lot of what they say because it just, it's so much thought is put into and research is put into creating that. Anyhow, um, this year I literally cried when I saw what the color was. It's Viva Magenta. If I had a signature color, it would probably be magenta. As I read about what the color means, good morning, Carissa. Um, these are the words that spoke to me, that kind of came out at me. Strength, courage, and grace. For the last few years, I've been struggling with the pull of new adventures and experiences and the need to be a steady presence at the store for both my twisted staff and my community. The latest poll, though, is coming from my daughter. My most important role during this time in my life is to be the best mom that I can. I feel that job comes down to one very simple thing, to help my children become the people they want to be. When I look at where my daughter might be a year from now, I can see her needing me to be ready to load up horses and, and be gone for weeks at, at a time. She will not only need a driver, but she will need a tremendous amount of support and cheerleading, and I want to be there for every minute of it. 
One of the biggest lessons I've learned from running a small retail business is this. As an owner, you simply have to be there. I find when I'm not there, I don't feel like I'm giving my staff and my community the best of me. Quite honestly, it is hard on my heart and my soul. And I'm not okay with providing an environment experience that isn't all that it can be. So, with a tremendous bag of mixed emotions, I am announcing that the Twisted You will be closing in 2023. We'll let you know when we have a firm date, uh, but as of right now, it, it'll be within the next six months. It'll be late spring, early summer. Oh, thanks, Kat. I know what it feels like to get the news that your favorite yarn store is closing. There's disappointment and sadness. This has been one of the hardest decisions I've had to make. Oh, boo-boo's concerned. <laughs> um, you have all been so incredibly supportive over the years and have, n and have never been slow. Oh, wait. No, apparently there's somebody outside. That's what boo-boo's excited about. <laughs> um, you've never been slow to express your appreciation. My goal when I opened this store was to create a supportive, creative community, and I can say with 100% certainty it has been done. What I didn't realize was how little I needed to do. I just provided a space for you to come, create those friendships, bond over the love of fiber. <laughs> Truly, it's your accomplishment more than it is mine. I'm just grateful to have been a part of it. That's it. Woo, got it out. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard to know that you're a source of sadness and disappointment disappointment for people and and I know you guys are all so supportive and understanding and you get it, it still sucks it still sucks but I know it's what I need to do in order to be the person that I want to be oh sorry Marietta but you know what here we go so that said um Back in 2010, now it was probably actually 2019 or 2009 when it happened, 2009. Um, I get a phone call from Jessica. She's working at Handmade, which was my local yarn store. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Um, and she calls me. She says, well, we're closing. And I hung up the phone and I felt all, you know, sad emotions and stuff. And thought, gosh, it's just, it's, you got to be able to do this. And so I called her back five minutes later and I said, hey, you want to come work for me? And she said, yes. And they said, you want to know what we're going to do? She said, I don't care. <laughs> My favorite answer ever. And they said, well, we're going to open a yarn store. And we did. And it's been almost 13 years now. And I just hope that somebody out there is inspired and says, you know what? This is something I want to do. And I will help you. Call me. I will help you. I will help you navigate some of the, you know, making, not making some of the mistakes I made and, and, and creating something that, that people just love to be at. Amanda, you're such a good mom and a thoughtful person. Thank you. I know it must hurt, but I'm proud. Oh, thanks, Amanda. That was really sweet. God, this is going to be rough. <laughs> going to be a little bit rough. Anyway. Anyway, listen, and I know that some people have asked if I'm going to sell it. Um, I've even had one offer to possibly buy it. Um, and, I, and the more I think about it, the more I think that this is so close to my heart and such a part of me that I don't think I could stand to watch somebody else make it a part of them, which they should, right? But I don't, I don't know that I can watch that. This is just me. And so, and... Uh, on top of that, I am selling the building. Um, and so, you know, it would have to be a different location anyhow. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to open it, it's really got to be your own. It's got to be your own. People, oh, they gravitate, I have found, to authenticity and to something that is truly you and not something that you're just trying to, trying to make be something to fit other people. It's got to fit for you. Anyhow. That's it, you guys. That is the big one. 
I, have, I don't even know what else to say at this point. <laughs> there will be no giveaway today. Um, but there will be tomorrow, and anybody who comments, or not tomorrow, but next week, and anybody who comments um, today uh, will get in on next week's as well. Um, we're going to continue to live. We're going to continue to operate. Um, normal, we won't be getting any new yarns in, uh, but we are replenishing. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. We are replenishing you know, like our Rasta and our Rios, and we just got some wool stock in, and so we're going to keep some of those up. For those of you that have gift cards, oh, Pamela, I'm sorry. For those of you that have gift cards um, for the month of January, you get 15% off your entire purchase if you use your gift card. Really need to get people in here to use, thank you, Elizabeth, to get in and use our gift cards. That was one of the reasons I wanted to make sure I got this announcement out um, sooner rather than later. Um, so gift cards or store credit if you had a return and you've got some credit with us get in and get that spent oh candace thank you um uh a little bit to steph's horror um i am going to tell people that um we are open to doing special orders for those as well if you have got gift cards and store credit and we just don't have what you're needing um as long as it's got to fit certain criteria, right? We have to have an account with them. There can't be a minimum that we have to meet. And you have to buy the full bag. So that is an option out there as well. Um, and it's just, and it's if we can do it, you know, if it's available and all the things. Um, but we'll definitely work with you that way. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, um, is there anything else? <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. Good morning, Diane. <laughs> You're going to have to rewind because I'm not doing this again. This was, this was enough. Oh, um, anyhow. Oh, hey, listen, we are going to have, we do have one final trunk show that we're going to do. It's uh, at the end of uh, January, early February. It's called uh, Gray Drizzle Fibers. So be watching for information on that. So we will have that in. Um, and I know that my dear friend Alexandra, she wants to come in and she's going to do a pop-up shop, I think, towards the end of March. Um, so we get to look for that too. Oh, thanks, Cherry. Appreciate your understanding. All right, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Love y'all. Stay twisted. We're going to, and it'll be okay. Like, it's going to carry on. Somebody's going to pick it up, and it's going to be great. So I love you guys, and I'll see you next Thursday for sure. Bye now.